welcome back everyone to the seventh podcast episode in my journey as I am learning Punjabi. So today we have a bit of a different format we're going to try because now that I've covered a lot of the uh, basics of Punjabi culture and the basics of expressing myself, we're going to start focusing more on the comprehensible input aspect of this. So instead of you listening to me trying to speak and fail and fail and fail, (laughs) uh, you're going to listen to my co-host, my mom. Mm -hmm. She's going to deliver uh, in a few segments some sentences in beginner level Punjabi and an intermediate to advanced level Punjabi. So that way, if uh, no matter what stage you are in your learning of Punjabi, you'll be able to derive something. And for me, I'll be able to build up my confidence as I more thoroughly understand the beginner language and then uh, introduce myself to the more advanced uh, language so I can be ready for whenever I hear it. So anyway, without further ado, keep things pretty short and concise, Mm -hmm. we will begin the comprehensible input. And afterwards, I'll give my comments. (laughs) Satrikal Ethan. Satrikal. And Satrikal Dosto. So, um, I picked Cristiano Ronaldo as my first um, beginner input topic because I think he is a much loved player. So, let's go in Punjabi. Cristiano Ronaldo Kone. Cristiano Ronaldo Kone. Cristiano Ronaldo Football Da. खिडारी है ओ पुर्तगाल तो है ओ बहुत सोनी फुटबॉल खेलता है रोनाल्डो पुर्तगाल दी फुटबॉल टीम दा कैप्टन है मेनू लगदा है रोनाल्डो ईथन दा मनपसंद खिडारी है खत्म सो दैट वाज द बिगिनर सेंटेंसेस Yes. So that was just a little taste. We'll have more for sure to come, but uh, and let us know what you think. So I think all those sentences, I understood them pretty well. They weren't uh, anything difficult. I mean, it's a lot of what we've been talking about in the previous episodes. Mm-hmm. They use a lot of the same grammatical structures. Mm-hmm. So, you know, talking about who's Ronaldo and mm-hmm. things about him, like he's from Portugal, he's my favorite player, mm-hmm. and uh, he's a very... A uh, good player, very nice, like uh, Sony, it's like nice. Sony, or beautiful. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, you can clearly see the Portuguese influence on our <laughs> podcast, <laughs> but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was good. Okay, so was that pretty simple? Yeah, I'd say that was, that was very simple. Um, I think for someone who is totally... Or, well, for someone who doesn't have any exposure to Punjabi, mm-hmm. that'd obviously be relatively difficult because hmm. they only have the word Ronaldo to work off of. Okay. But I, I think it, it could be manageable. It depends. I, I'm not in that position, so it's hard for me to say for someone who... Okay, so the previous that episodes position. that we did, they were helpful to you? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think the most helpful parts were understanding... Uh, how Punjabi culture influences the language. Okay. Because those are things that are difficult to understand mm-hmm. if you're learning it in the new language. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like understanding that before mm-hmm. you learn the language mm-hmm. is helpful because you can understand why certain things are phrased the way they are or why certain phrases don't exist, mm-hmm. like burned out or something True. like that. I found that, by the way. Oh, you did? So, yeah. So, I contacted my people, the experts and from Punjab. And one of them actually is a PhD student, uh, Prabh. So, she's studying at Punjabi University, Patiala. So, she made a very good point. She said, Punjab is uh, a traditional agricultural state, which means most people uh, come from farming background. Like my um, grandfather on my mom's side, he was a farmer. One of my uncles, my mom's brother, is still a farmer. And my uh, grandpa, his dad was a farmer. So in fact, my grandfather, my paternal grandfather was the first one to go to college, you know, at the time. So anyway, the point being that people, she said, who come with a, from an agricultural background, there is no concept of a weekend. 
You work. Your animals have to be fed, you know, every day. Work has to be done in the farm uh, in order to produce. So there is no concept of a holiday, a true holiday. Right. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very, it's in stark contrast to a lot of Western culture. Yes. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. So in fact, you know how like on Sundays, uh, people here go to church or the religious places. So there was no concept like that when I was growing up. We only went to the religious uh, places when there was a festival, like a guru's birthday right. or a sacrifice, martyrdom day, you know? So there is, uh, this is very Western. Yeah, for sure. Interesting. But uh, anyway, mm -hmm. back to the comprehensible input. Yes. So are you ready for the advanced? I would uh, love to hear it. Ethan, you're doing well. So let's see how, how you react to this one. Okay. So continuing with Ronaldo. So my next um, five sentences about him are Ronaldo Ajkal Saudi Arab Vichy. O apne parivar de naal othe renda hai. उस दे क्लब दा नाम अल नासर है मैं सोचती सी कि एक दिन रोनाल्डो दी फुटबॉल दी खेड जरूर वेखनी चाहिदी है इथन तोडा की ख्याल खत्म आई अंडरस्टूड अ सिलेक्शन ऑफ वर्ड्स आई थिंक यू स्पोक अ लिटिल बिट क्विकली फॉर माय level of understanding to catch up with it. So you think it was just the speed? Well, that, and the, because there's a lot of words that I'm not as familiar with in there. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit harder to pick up on. So I think, I also think that that's more of an intermediate level. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm just, I uh, don't have a lot of, um, what's the word? Maybe I don't understand how advanced my Punjabi level is. But I doubt that's the case. I'm assuming that mm -hmm. there is more advanced level Punjabi because I understood all like, I understood the sentence structure. I just, Should we go it was each, just a little quicker I, than, I, than I, I, I. I think I tried to go sure. like normal speed. To you, what's quicker was my normal speed. Right, yeah. Right. Because I'm not used to it. Right. And because uh, I consciously try to speak slowly so that you understand at the beginner level. The other thing is, do you want to go sentence by sentence to see that way you can learn? Well, I think if you could repeat it one more time, sure. a little bit slower. Okay. Be... So the first one was Ronaldo Ajkal Saudi Arab Vichy. Anji. So you can, you can read them all. Okay. So I just want to know if you wanted to translate that or tell me what no, you understood. No, no, it's okay. okay. I want to directly translate that. All right. O apne parivar de naal o the renda hai. I have no idea what that means. O. It's, that's he. Apne. Apne is ours, like apna kar. Oh, right. You know, there's a supermarket, um... Indian supermarket in Tampa, it's called Apna Bazaar. So Bazaar is like a, um, like a marketplace, right? And Apna is our, our marketplace, like this is ours. So Apna is a very um, important word. It's used a lot. So Apna Parivar, which is interesting because when you talk about your family, you would just say my family. Whereas if you talk to a Punjabi person, they will say my own family. Because everybody is my family, but this is my own family. <laughs> you know what that means? I, I sort of understand what that means. Right, really because over there people will refer to their friends as my brother. Like, he's not my friend, he's my brother. But you know that he's, he's, that person is a friend, not a brother. But their real brother will be their own. You know, that means maybe my blood relative. So this concept is, is a very Punjabi thing. Hmm. Um, or a very South Asian thing, I should say. So, O apne parivar, his own family, Dinal, Dinal as you know is with, O the renda hai. Renda is to live somewhere, right? O the is there. So, Ronaldo lives with his family over there. Okay. Us de club da naam al nasar hai. This was simple. Yeah. Get that one? Yeah. Very and then, uh, Me soch di si, कि एक दिन रोनाल्डो दी फुटबॉल दी खेड जरूर वेखनी चाहिदी है 
It's a bit complex sentence. Can you repeat it one more time? Main sochti si. Oh, you can just stop me if you. No, no, continue. Ke ik din, Ronaldo di football di kid. Zarur vekhni chahi diya. Yeah, you're saying that one. You think one day his club will be very important. Um, you're kind of halfway there. Main sochti si ki ik din. Ronaldo the football decayed. Uh, nothing about the club. Football decayed. I think the key word here is Vekni. Vek is to look. That one day I'd like to see his football game. Oh, and Kade is game. Kade is game, yeah. I understand. But you, you got like yeah. 60%. I think it. one thing that's missing here, because mm-hmm. I don't like the direct translation, because that forces me to rely on English mm-hmm. to understand the Punjabi. Okay. I think if we introduced some pictures or something else that can help me understand uh-huh. the input mm-hmm. to make it comprehensible, mm-hmm. I think that would be extremely helpful. Like a picture of Ronaldo with the football? Maybe, maybe like a drawing associated with it. Okay. So I can attach the words uh-huh. to something, a visual depiction. Uh-huh. So that way I'm not relying on always going back to English to understand the language. Because then, mm. the, like we were talking about, the cultures are so different. There's never going to be one-to-one mm-hmm. translations. I mean, there, there might be, mm-hmm. but they're not going to be as authentic mm-hmm. as someone who's truly, who, whose first language was Punjabi. Mm-hmm. Because it's relying on... A different cultural mm-hmm. uh, foundation. So I think, um, yeah, it would be helpful to have some something extra that allows me to not rely on okay. the language. Okay. And what do you think of the last line? Ethan, to harda ki kyaal hai? Kyaal. Yeah, I don't know kyaal. Um, but do you get... To harda ki kyaal hai? Kyaal. What? Kyaal. What about the context? Ethan, to harda ki kyaal hai? It's you're asking me what's my something. Um, like what? What's your guesswork? Um, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. right. Yes. Okay, that's what I was wondering. But it, it but yeah, isn't think such a such a khayal? So again, I um, you're right. I should have really said Ethan to see ki soch deo. What do you think, right? But I said to hada ki khayal hai. So this actually probably is an Urdu word, but because South Asians grow up with like a. A barrage of languages. We can never speak one language fluently. Okay. So I inadvertently added a word of Urdu, which is how normally people speak. You're never going to meet people who speak just one language there. People will throw in words of English, Punjabi, Urdu, Hindi. So you get this sort of conglomerate of languages over there. This is how people talk. I talk like that. Okay. Yeah. I understand. And this is exactly what comprehensible input is. Well... You figured it out, like what I was asking your opinion. I agree. I yeah. think it would be better with what I was saying to have other parts of this that don't force me to rely on English translation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like in that video we were, we were watching, the mm-hmm. lecture from, Miss, from... What's his name? Do you remember? Um, the professor from... University of Southern California... Yeah. Um, he's a language professor mm-hmm. essentially of several uh, looked like several decades ago mm-hmm. he gave a lecture about uh, comprehensible input mm-hmm. <clears throat> and in that lecture he drew a picture accompanied with his German uh, lesson mm-hmm. and it's it's things like that that allow you to, to visualize and mm-hmm. integrate that language versus kind of having it lay on top of the language that you already know. Mm, I think that's great. Well, I'll so, work on it. Um, and, of course, let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll link the video that I'm talking about in the description mm-hmm. so you guys can get an idea of what we're aiming for. This mm-hmm. is... This episode is sort of... not. It's not exactly what we are planning to do, like, next week. This is sort of a transitionary, a transitionary episode where we're looking into adding comprehensible input as a major mm-hmm. part of our um, lessons and the whole podcast. So what it'll look like hopefully in the future is like two thirds of the podcast devoted to uninterrupted Punjabi mm-hmm. so that you guys can listen to beginner, intermediate and advanced levels of Punjabi 
no matter what your so no matter what your level is, mm-hmm. you'll feel like you you're getting you not feel you will be getting <laughs> something mm-hmm. out of this if you're uh, paying attention to it, mm-hmm. and we'll include some things in there to help you understand uh, the context a little better, so that you're not relying on whatever translations that typically lessons require you to. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sticking around. Like I said, this is going to be a short transitionary episode. So let us know what you think. There still aren't many comments. I would love to see you guys tell us whether we're doing good or bad. Uh, I prefer more criticism because uh, I look at that as the way to grow. Mm -hmm. But if you have good things to say, I'm not going to turn it down. (laughs) (laughs) I I like feeling good too. (laughs) Um, Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that goes same with likes and dislikes. It tells us um, what you think? So anyway, uh, do you have to add? Yeah, that's it. Farewell, dear. Satsriyakal. Mirbani, rabraka. Rabraka.